Hello everyone, I've just watched the most infuriating video I've ever seen in my life. Apparently they're teaching our kids a new way of doing math. Um, so, uh, the new curriculums apparently teach something called the Merck method and the Lattice method. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and solve this very simple math problem, 26 times 31, which was shown in the previous video, but I'm going to time myself just to see how good these methods are. Okay, so I'm going to start with the Merck method, which is a silly clustering idea. So this is 20 plus 6 times 31, so that's 20 times 31 plus 6 times 31, which is 2 times 310, which is 620. And this can be 6 times 30 plus 1, which is 180 plus 6. Fine. We add this up. We see that it's 6 plus 2 is 10. Carry the 1. So 6 plus 1 plus 1 is 806. Okay, I got that done in 31.75 seconds. 31 seconds. Hmm. The next method we're going to look at is called the lattice method. No, oh, hang on. Let me start my timer. Okay, the lattice method has us drawing this stupid square, which makes me feel like an idiot. Okay, and then we put the numbers here, and then we multiply them in groups. 18, 6 times 1 is 0, 6, 2 times 3 is 0, 6, 2 times 1 is 0, 2. And then we sum them up in diagonals, 8 plus 2, 10. Carry the 1, 6 plus 1 plus 1, 8, 0, so we're done. 29.37 seconds. Interesting. Okay, so the answer, by the way, was 806. Finally, we're going to go ahead and compare it to ye old standard method. 26 times 31. 6 times 1 is 6, 1 times 2 is 2, 0, 3 times 6 is 18, six, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7, 6, 10, carry the 1, 806. 17.52 seconds. Can anyone explain to me what is the benefit of the lattice method or the Merck method? Now, she then did the division thing, and that's I'm not even going to waste my time. That division is clearly twice as slow. The method is, it's, it's a poor mapping of the, of the standard division method. So I'm just, okay, but she made a quote from the these new curriculum, which are basically saying, it's just not worth it to learn the standard methods because there's no payoff uh, for doing uh, higher level math. Now, I want to show everyone something called the Graham Smith. Sorry if I don't know how to spell. Leave me alone. Identity. And this is a very interesting identity. It basically looks at this uh, um, sort of a 1 divided by 1 minus x expression here where the absolute value of x is uh, less than 1. So uh, the, the point is that x is some decimal number, right, between minus 1 and 1. And so the question is, what is this? Can we, can we, we express this as a power series? Don't, don't worry too much about that. But the, the point is, what we, what we uh, sort of mid-level mathematicians might like to do, or if you're, you're taking a mid-level math course, I mean, I'm saying, um, is that we can just go ahead and do a straight long division of these polynomials. And you can do that if you, say, treat the, the x, the minus x there, as if it was just some lower digit. right? So we're going to go ahead and uh, do that. And so when we subtract, we will get x here. And we say, OK, plus x. And we see x minus x squared. We subtract. And then we see, oh, we're going to x squared there, plus x squared. So that's x squared minus x cubed. We subtract. OK. So 
we can see the pattern. So when we do a long division, straight long division of 1 minus x into 1, and, and this is OK. Uh, this is the algorithm applies because x is less than 1. So this, the remainders are actually diminishing over time. So that's, that's why the method makes sense. We have this really fascinating identity. Basically, equal to 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed. And I don't know if you're a computer programmer or have patience in a calculator, you can actually try various numbers. Uh, small value for small values of x, and you see, wow, that's a that's a really interesting identity. Um, and in, indeed, this is actually the beginning of a topic called uh, infinite series. And so the question is, how can you show a student this clever way of proving this this identity if if the student doesn't know long division, right? I mean, you, this is a kind of an intermediate math math thing and it's very it bootstraps the other entire concept of geometric series which is a reasonable topic to be learning in, in mid to higher level math classes it's just preposterous right I mean if you don't know the long division method you'll have no idea what this proof is trying to tell you anyways so the lady who was talking about it in the video that I'm responding to has a link to the website, wheresthemath.com. And on that website, you will find a petition that you can sign, I don't know, to tell these school boards or someone that this is a ridiculous situation. I mean, is it any wonder that Americans are, are losing their jobs to outsourcing? Well, I mean, if people in India and China probably know how to do ordinary math, with the standard methods. Anyways, um, go to that website, click the link, sign the petition. That's all I had. Thank you very much.